want fun, we got fun. You want cash, we got some. Pick a number, pick a letter, but let's play money mouth. Pick a number. Thanks very much, ladies and germs. My name is what Sunny is Halliday, and welcome to this week's episode of Madam Secretary. <laughs> I kid, of course, this is Money Mouth. <laughs> Hold on a second, I'm coming. Hold on. Come here a minute. Oh. Give me a second. Jesus Christ, hold on for like one second. Better bring some food for the invalid. No, you could have just opened the door yourself, right? Forget about the key. You look like a greasy. Sweaty mess. My brain keeps getting confused. Doesn't understand why I'm trying to replace one leg with two crutches. Keeps getting all tangled. Yeah, well that's because you're overthinking it. Yeah, Dad came around the other day and he brought me some soup. I put it in the microwave and I went to take it out. It was too fucking hot and I spilled most of it down my leg. I think some of it got in the moon boot. It feels kind of soggy. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that was fucking rank. Does it smell? Yes, it fucking smells. What, what kind of soup was that? Like shit and baby dick? It was green. I think it was leek. Okay, you, you have to get that thing changed. You can't walk around with that kind of funky situation. No, no, I don't want to be the guy who has to get his moon boot changed because he spilled soup down it. I'm not that kind of guy. You are literally that guy. Now, how much soup is in there? I spilled the whole bowl, but I don't think that much of it actually got in the boot. Jesus Christ, did, did you burn your leg? Yeah. No, I uh, put the soup in the microwave for like five minutes. <laughs> five minutes is too long for soup. You're the, you're the worst. Well, how long do you microwave soup for? Look, I know what the answer is going to be, but you should really think about moving back in with your dad for a while. Nah, it'll be weird. He's got a new girlfriend. Your dad is the coolest guy ever. It's not going to get weird. I won't do it, Simon. I'm a grown-up now. No! Oh, no! Oh, 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 All right, oh, let's get oh, the party started, shall we? Now, Harry, your mission, if you choose to accept... Arnie, what is the to fuck make are you some watching? Cash. <laughs> now, you know the rules, as the theme song says. Pick a number, pick a letter, and let's play Money Mouth together! <laughs> let's do it! So you pick the clown based on the number on the bow tie and then you pull the lever and if you're correct then an envelope pops into the slot with a whole bunch of money in it. Now you can choose to keep that envelope or you can risk it all by going into clowning around and potentially increasing your winnings, right? Now the trick is some of the clowns don't have any envelopes in them, only bubbles. So if you pick one of them, that's one of your three chances gone, so you're fucked. You've got to stop watching this daytime TV business, it's driving you insane. Maybe you didn't explain it properly, there really doesn't seem to be an A. Well, the aim is winning money. You know, picking clowns and winning cash. And I get the significance of the bubbles. I don't understand why the money has to be in an envelope. It seems really unnecessary. Well, it has to be in an envelope to disguise the amount, right? Because you want to decide whether you're going to risk it or, or keep a hold of it where you stand. You know, I'm not a dumb guy, but I've absolutely no idea what the premise of this show is. Be it a terrible explanation from you, or just a terrible fucking idea for a show that nobody gets. You need to stop watching it. If you insist on watching it, you need to stop talking about it. You know, the host is pretty... You really need to stop talking about it, man. Oh, my God. What? Oh, my God. What? It's Money Mouth. It's, it's the host of Money Mouth. Well, the guy who looks like a gothic pedophile. I, I have to go over there. I have to tell him how terrible his TV show is. You're fucking done. No, you don't understand. I, I really do. Are you kidding me right now, Artie? You're not talking to him. Come on, man, this is gonna be my only chance. You look like a fucking lunatic. Sit down. Probably lives in the area. You're gonna sit down and shut the fuck up. I'm not even kidding, I'm breaking your TV later. How about Tinder, have you tried Tinder? I just think you really overreacted, Lucas. I was just gonna go up and talk to the man. You've turned into a ridiculous human being. What makes you think you have the right to go up in someone's face? 
give them your stupid opinion when they're just trying to go about their own business. Oh, you're such a fucking hero, aren't you, Lucas? You saved that poor man from having someone come up and talk to him about his work. He's probably going to go out now and enjoy his double espresso and thank the kindly gentleman who stopped him from having his fucking morning spoiled. You are such a little shit. <laughs> Did you just hit something? I don't know. What the fuck was that? Fuck, I don't know. Fuck. Go out and check. Fuck. What is it? I think I hit something. What do you mean you think you hit something? Did you or didn't you? Hardy. I'm coming. Hardy. I think I hit that game show guy. 